I feel, I feel like I want to say something about the absolute epidemic of bike crime that's happening in, Lo not just in London, but everywhere, but it just seems to be focused on London and that's where I am. So that's kind of really where, where, where I see it. Um, it's getting a lot worse. Obviously it's getting a lot worse. Everybody's seen it. Everybody's read the stats. They see it on the news. You've, you may even seen these, these guys on, on scooters, mounting pavements, snatching handbags, taking mobile phones and all this kind of stuff. Um, it, it's getting worse in the sense that obviously we had those acid attacks in, in, in Hackney, which is absolutely dreadful. Um, and it's getting worse because these guys that, are, and, it's, and it's men, boys mostly, like teenagers, are getting braver um, and more brazen. And they're starting to take people's motorcycles from underneath them when they're riding them by using acid and using fire extinguishers to squirt it in, in some, in, to, to release it in someone's, in someone's helmet, someone's face. Um, you know, and it's happening in broad daylight and it's happening when people are walking to work and people are getting their phones snatched out of their hands on their morning commute and delivery drivers are getting their bikes stolen and on their way to work. And it's happening to everybody. And I thought it was just kind of happening in like to, to like scooters as well, but it's not, it's happening to like people with big bikes and stuff, you know? Um, and it's got to stop because the police can't do anything. The police won't give chase. Everybody knows that, I think. Um, but anyway, if you don't know that, police can't give chase. These little shits know they can get away with it. They take, the, they take their helmets off and that means that the police can't give chase. So, what I wanted to do is to kind of get something out there that it's already been, I've seen someone else kind of inspired me. I saw somebody else kind of do this piece and it went everywhere. And I just kind of want, we just need to keep getting this message out there. So essentially these guys are really, really easy to spot. And I saw two people, um, I chased two people from, from my local high street, Wanstead High Street, um, last couple of weeks ago. And they're so easy to spot. First thing is, they'll be riding a scooter rather than a motorbike nine out of 10 times. Second thing is that they're generally always two up on a scooter. Now, most of the time, guys don't ride two up on motorbikes, all right? It's just not done unless you're in, unless it's kind of around Soho, they're both in vests, they're incredibly cut, you know, handsome looking guys and they're parked outside GAY, you know? Otherwise, guys don't ride two up, especially on scooters. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that they'll be wearing fucking trainers and a shitty tracksuit. Um, and they probably won't have any gloves on. Um, and they'll probably put like some kind of balaclava under their helmet, all right? Normal people don't do that, all right? If you're wearing a motorbike, generally, you don't wear trainers. And if you do wear trainers, you're, like you're on some sort of custom Bonneville with like bands on or something, right? Um, you don't wear trainers. You're generally wearing gloves. You're not going to wear a fucking balaclava in the summer. Um... You know, and then and and if you look closely, nine out of ten times it either won't be a number plate on there, um, and just by the way they're driving, they're fucking erratic, right? If you see this, that means these horrible little shits, these cretins, are, are on. They're either on their way to nick something, they've just nicked something, or they're about to do something horrible, right? So if you see it, I implore you, if you're driving a van. Fucking run these fuckers in. Don't obviously run them over, but knock them off the bike. Knock them off. Just knock them off any way you can. Doesn't have to give, um, you don't have to plow into them. Obviously, you don't want to damage your van, but swerve to them. Make them crash, right? If you are in a car, do the same thing. And if you're on a motorbike and you're riding around with a number of people, fucking give chase to these people. Chase them. Don't let them get away with it. Like, and also, you know, I'm, I, we, will, we will always, always, always outnumber them. So if you see them doing something to somebody's bike or, you know, trying to steal something, don't stand there and film it, right? Throw something at them. Get something heavy. Get a chain. Get a fucking bin or something. Or whatever it takes. Just pick something up and launch it. Make noise. Get a crowd. Walk to the, go to them as a as a mass as a number, you know. If these horrible little shits realise that as, as 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 the public won't stand for it anymore, 
then it's going to be a deterrent, right? At the moment, mm, there is no challenge whatsoever. Nobody challenges them. If we start coming together as a, as a, you know, as a, as, as a fucking force, right? As a team and a force, that's got to be a deterrent. And as a biking community, as bikers, we start going after these people. And I'm talking about like properly going after them. So stop, not a fucking Mad Max vigilante group, but some kind of team that's taking it in turns on a nightly basis to go around these streets. We know where to go. We know where these guys are going to be and look out for them and just give chase, right? If we catch them, perfect. Just fucking tie them up and phone the police. Let the police deal with it. The police can't chase, right? We can. We can chase. We can do something about it. We can do something about it. We can do something about it. We can't just do nothing. Doing nothing is the worst thing, right? Obviously, don't put yourself in into danger, but there are so many things that you can do. And I know these guys carry knives, and I know they can't carry angle grinders, and I know they carry acid, but they're wearing big old helmets, and they can't. They're not that mobile, and they're not. They're skinny little things. They're skinny little things. They're they're drug riddled little things. They've got brittle little bones. You know, they'll snap. Just go after them. Go after them as a as a public. We have to start going after them. Like enough is enough. We can do something. That's it.